Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss sorting in spreadsheets and um, I have here uh, prepared some sample data with some car models, their prices and doors, etc. And uh, let's say I want to sort this data. Now, before starting with sorting, you have to watch out for one thing. No islands. What I mean by that is no empty rows or empty columns because let me just show you something. Let me just insert some rows and some columns. You see, that would be an island. It is totally separate from this part. This is another island and so on. So basically, if you have something like that, sorting would be very difficult because that part would, only that part would get sorted and that would stay the same. Same ditto for, this, for these two parts. So basically, when you have data, make sure it is all one continuous block, no empty rows or empty columns. So let me let me get rid of these. Okay, we have that. Now, you can sort by one key or by numerous keys. Now in this video, I'm just going to show you how to sort by one key. And in the next videos, I'm going to show you how to sort by multiple keys. And then I'm going to show you one cool trick. But first of all, let's sort by one key. Let me, let me say that I want to sort the cars by the stock price. Okay, I just click in here. More, many people, what they do, they they select the whole the whole the whole column they want to sort. That is a fatal mistake because what happens is you you only sort that column and everything else stays the same. And basically, your data is corrupt it is it is finished because there's no more the cars are not not connected anymore to the to the to the right prices when you sort you don't you don't want to just sort the prices you want to sort the whole row you know the i mean for instance this whole row has to go along with that price but if you select just the column you want to sort you're just going to sort that column and everything else is going to stay the same and basically you can throw away your data because it's useless it's it's completely destroyed so basically what you do is you click anywhere in that column you wish to sort. And then here, now I'm using LibreOffice, uh, the symbols look like that. In Excel, you would have A to Z and Z, uh, sorry, Z to A and A, uh, A to Z and Z to A. Basically what that means, ascending and descending. Okay, so basically if I do like that, I'm getting the smallest price at the top and the biggest one at the bottom and descending is basically the other way around. The biggest price at the top and the and the and the uh, smallest one at the bottom. Okay, you can try it out. Let's let's try it out with the numbers here. Let's do the numbers ascending. So I'm getting back the one, two, three, and descending is basically the other way around. Okay, so it's very simple to to just you can click anywhere and sort the way you wish. You know, no problem. You want to sort by the by the by the output power. Ascending, that's the smallest power we got, 44. And descending, that means the biggest power is at the top and the smallest one is down here at the bottom. Okay, that is sorting. Now, this, this interface here of LibreOffice is similar to the older interface of Excel. The newer Excel, uh, sorting looks like that. Now, now this, this, this Excel here is in German, never mind that. You're in, uh, your sorting tool should be here at the right and you'd have a menu here that's ascending and that is descending, okay? And works the same way. You just click anywhere here and then ascending and descending, okay? And that's, that's the way sorting works, sorting by one key works. Now, like I said, make sure that you have no islands, no empty columns and no empty rows. Now, if you have anywhere, if you have something like that, that is no big deal because you still have that, okay? But a completely, a totally empty row is a problem because then only that part would get sorted and not this one. Now, in Excel, it could compensate for that and could do correctly, but other applications like OpenOffice or LibreOffice, they could, they could sort something wrong and you wouldn't even notice that. So that's why I would suggest no islands, no empty rows and no empty columns. 